Marie from Empower and I'm joined this morning by Jackie. Jackie Crawford's one of our business club members. Hi Jackie. Hi, good morning Kerry, lovely to see you. And you. So Jackie, can you tell us about what you do? I can. I am an independent and accredited image consultant and what that means is that I help women feel comfortable in their clothes and we all have different um, expectations from our wardrobe we all have very different lifestyles so together with my client I develop a coherent sort of style that they feel comfortable in um, uh, that works for them you know their their lifestyle their body shape and perhaps most importantly personality that comes into it a lot as well and combining all of those elements, Kerry, guides women to make more informed choices so that they're wearing what works for them, what suits them, what they feel good in. And that just leads to, you know, increased levels of self-esteem and confidence as well. I mean, you will know yourself, you go shopping, you're faced with, um, you know, rails and rails of clothes, um, you know, that fashion dictates to us and you feel overwhelmed and you get to a certain point in your life. Actually, you're not quite sure, am I supposed to be following fashion? You know, what do I wear now? My body shape might have changed, um, you know, after having children or you might be approaching menopause and our bodies change all over again. So it's about using clothes to feel really comfortable with you, your body shape and, and what you want out of your clothes. So it's, it can be an exciting transformation to work with, with me. It sounds fantastic, yeah. Um, how did you get into this kind of work, Jackie? Have you always been in fashion and image, imagery and no, not at all. Um, and, and I think that's the joy of it. I actually changed my role in my 50s. I was 50 when I retrained five years ago. And actually, I, I would embrace, you know, I would endorse anyone doing that, you know, if you're stuck in a job that actually you don't really love. I came to it from 34 years in a corporate um, environment um, and, and latterly HR. Um, and I suppose, how did I come to it? Um, yeah, so HR, I was always working with people, helping people develop, you know, helping people be the best version of themselves, you know, in their, in their working environment. Um, and, and I worked really hard at that sort of carving out of my career, but I knew there was something wrong. You know, I was at a bit of a careers, career crossroads. I felt as if I was missing a bit of a trick. Um, and I previously spent, you know, quite a lot on a quality wardrobe, but I never thought that it reflected me as an individual. And I wanted to explore this a little bit further. So I actually invested um, myself in, in a, an image consultant and kind of never, never looked back. So when I was working, um, you know, in, in a business that I'd been with for 10 years, private equity took over. I wasn't quite the hard nosed uh, business professional that they wanted. You've heard the story. Um, and I suppose I, I revisited um, the experience that I'd had with the change of um, I don't know, my, my career had, had elevated itself. I became group HR for um, four businesses and I got to where I wanted to be just through, I think, obviously hard work, determination, but I felt different in my clothes. I'd enjoyed a you know, transformation of my own um, and I really helped think that that supported me and helped me um, develop my career further. So. Um, I had that role for uh, just short of 10 years and um, then I had an opportunity to take a gap year, you know, me and private equity parted company um, and I reverted, as I said, Kerry, to that previous experience and I know how difficult it is, it is for many women to find their identity through, through the clothes they wear and I knew what a, a positive experience it had been for me. 
And I think I wanted to help women and experience the same joy from their wardrobe that, um, that I had found through through my changing career. So that was that was almost five years ago. So I've been helping women sort of rebrand, um, you know, their personal brand in line with their businesses, as I say, their lifestyles, their personality ever since. And um, it's so exciting to see that transformation and to see that elevation of confidence and self-esteem. It sounds incredible. It's so inspiring for you to just, I suppose, be, that, be brave and bold enough to leave that corporate career. Do you, was there something, did something else happen or was it just at that point where you were reflecting and going, I can't do this anymore? Or? I, th I think it was at that point that I thought some, you know, a change had to happen. And I remember you know, facing my own wardrobe when I was at work um, and thinking, I feel flat, I feel dull, I feel black or I feel grey. Nothing was inspiring me. And I think that was the inspiration I needed. Plus the fact, you know, my friends around me had had children, their body shapes were changing. We were, we were always talking about, oh, I, know, I don't know what fits me. I don't know what shape suits me anymore. So I thought, I want to help women avoid, you know, all the issues that I had come across as well. So I really speak about it from, from my own personal experience as I sort of go into my 50s. Yeah, it's fantastic that you've, yeah, the, the fact that you've been on that transformation yourself, really, and you can therefore mm. so genuinely and passionately talk about it and, and refer to how that felt when, you know, when you're speaking to your clients. Absolutely. And it's very difficult for, for people, you know, when you first start talking about it, because obviously I work with colour. So we look at, you know, people's uh, natural colouring, their hair colour, their, their skin tone and their eye colour. Um, and actually just identifying two or three colours to start with that actually makes your face come alive shaving years off us, um, you know, really from, from time to time, well, every day, in fact. And just that realization that just changing your lipstick color, changing a scarf or changing, you know, something that you wear can have such incredible power. So we work with color to start with, then we look at, um, you know, your body shape, uh, proportions, you know, how things sit on your body, because we are all individual. Um, and, you know, we don't just follow fashion. Um, it's about finding what is right for you. So when you actually find, you know, a style that resonates, um, um, I can't, I can't walk past anything that has a ruffle or a, a bow or a frill. Um, that is just part of my personality. But a lot of my clients, you know, wouldn't be seen dead in a ruffle or a frill. It's actually about finding what is right um, for that person. So it's something that doesn't happen overnight, Kerry. It is, you know, a very, very gradual process. And I always say it's not about changing your whole wardrobe all at once. It's just when you're ready to replace something you have you know a better idea of what you're looking for so your budget on your clothes goes further because you're spending more wisely and choosing things that actually flatter you and work for you rather than what fashion is dictating if it happens to be on trend and that's really important to you then then that's absolutely absolutely great um, so it's about choosing more mindfully um, you know, not buying a whole host of, of things in your wardrobe, working with what you've got. But then when you're ready to replace, as I say, just you know what you're looking for. So it does take some time to build up that capsule wardrobe. Um, and then I work with clients on wardrobe editing um, and personal shopping as well. And I am itching to get back to that. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, I was actually just going to ask you about that and, and how. I'm sure it's been a big challenge during the you know this current pandemic around not being able to see people face to face but you've taken a lot of what you do online haven't you yes I have I think for a couple of weeks way back in March 2020 um I was paralyzed like so many um you know people with their own businesses 
um, I had no idea what I was going to do. And then, you know, I pulled my socks up and thought, right, what can I, what can I do? I don't do colour online, but I have been working with clients on identifying style so that when the shops do, do reopen, they can sort of, they're fully fledged and, and they can go and sort of make their own decisions um, and more informed decisions, as I said. So I've been doing styling. I've been putting together, um, you know, different wardrobe looks using Pinterest um, for my clients. So literally they can just go onto the board. They can see what I'm suggesting. Um, they can buy it choose it, love it um, if they want to. And the feedback has been really, really fantastic. Um, but just recently, I've started working with a number of clients just to choose, you know, certain elements. I'm looking for some new coats. I don't have the time. You know, I've taken my business online as well. I just, I've got kids homeschooling. I need a new coat. Can you help me source a coat? Um, I'm working with a client at the moment just on some jewellery um, to sort of pep up her jewellery rather than change all of the items in her wardrobe, um, which is a really exciting project. Um, and then hopefully as we sort of reopen, I'm going to be helping some clients find sunglasses. Um, so it's really interesting how um, I've maintained my visibility um, you know, throughout all of all of this um, and kept people in touch with you know, what is going on in the world of fashion and more about, you know, the way that we can use colour in a positive way on a daily basis when the day doesn't seem to hold much excitement because we're not able to go very far at the moment, are we? <laughs> I mean, I must say you're a great inspiration, Jackie, I think, in terms of... Oh, thank you. you know, as you say, I think we're all a bit paralysed for of weeks but then you clearly got going moved on thought about how you could change up and approached it positively in a way that you know you knew you had to adapt to to survive I guess and, and I, I did uh, absolutely and I, but there was inspiration all around me you know part of being a member of Empower is seeing that other people sort of activating, you know, doing all sorts, taking action, doing all sorts of incredible, um, incredible things with their businesses. So, you know, I took a lot of inspiration from, from people around me as well. Um, I am a very positive person um, and I can't, I've been working for 34 years, I can't not do anything. So part of the structure of my day um, had to be getting up, getting dressed, getting showered, um, getting ready. And actually my dressing, my grooming was actually part of that structure. I missed, I missed that structure of getting the studio ready for a client coming. Um, so I suppose um, I, I always want to be busy. So I'm always cooking up um, something new which has been a surprise to me, Kerry, actually. I didn't think there was an ounce of creativity in me until I launched my business. <laughs> and then... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, as you say, I think um, just this month in, in within Empower, we're focusing on growth mindset and what that means. And I think you, to me, are someone who, you know, very clearly has that. But as you say, we don't always know that, do we? And, and, and it's something that comes out when you think, oh, right, different hat, which one have I got on? What am I doing today? How do I make this work? And not being afraid to try. Absolutely. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think, you know, I remember when I first launched my business and, and I'm really looking forward to hearing Andrea speak uh, this evening about that growth mindset because she was a real inspiration to me because I began working with her. I can't actually remember whether it was in my first or my second year, but I remember trying to schedule Facebook posts and not having a clue what I was going to write about. And I had to have a week's worth of content, um, you know, to, to function, to be able to sleep, to not worry about it. And amazingly, um, sometimes I don't have any content, but I'll just wake up in the morning and think, oh, heck, I'll post, I'll post about sunglasses today or I'll post about, I do have a marketing plan, I, I hasten to add, Kerry, so I do have certain things that I will talk about on a weekly, monthly sort of topical basis. Um, but I think Andrea sort of taught me the value in just 
it'll come, you know, it'll, what will be will come, just, you know, don't beat yourself up about it. Um, and, you know, keep, keep going. And, and I did, I took that advice on board um, because I am growing, which is great. <laughs> No, it's fantastic. So you, you've obviously mentioned Empower and some of the people you know from it. So just tell me yeah. a little bit more about, I guess, what it's done for you, what you like about Empower. Well, I think it sort of sent my business on a on a growth trajectory, um, really, Kerry, to be honest. That sounds a little bit dramatic, but actually, I think I was just launching as... Um, as it was your women mean business at the time um, and that opportunity to actually talk to people face to face was critical really to working with people we know slightly differently now that actually even on zoom or teams we can create some really good um, relationships virtually um, and and absolutely i'm very grateful for that but there is nothing like being in the room, the, the same room with a whole host of other women. And I think the inspiration that I took from all sorts of women in business, um, from, you know, holistic therapists to yoga teachers, to coaches, to jewellery designers, just there was a whole host of amazing women. And it was a highlight of the month actually going to... Um, you know meet up with them great friendships formed and actually great collaborations too I would not have come across probably not come across so quickly York Fashion Week um, for example which has been a wonderful um, thing to be part of so friendships made collaborations and I would not have worked with the people um, that I, I have worked with had I not had that bank of support, that inspiration, um, the, the knowledge that is shared um, that, that you will know about, Kerry, it feels like it's a very inclusive, very caring group. And actually there is a, the flick of a button or a pick up a phone, there is always someone able um, and very willing to, to share knowledge. And I have really, really enjoyed that missing the face-to-face -face massively so as soon as that's back that's back on the cards I will I will be back there because there's nothing like talking face-to-face -to, -face to somebody about what you do and of course what I do is very visual. Yeah absolutely um, and so what would you say to anyone who's sort of thinking about joining us at, at Empower and hasn't made that move yet? don't sit on the fence uh, I would have to say I would say get involved um, I know that networking is quite alarming for a lot of a lot of women particularly if they've had um, you know a working environment in, in an office space for example they go on their own you feel very vulnerable um, you know walking into a room with even 20 people can be very daunting um, for a lot of people but I think as soon as I was able to um, you know network I absolutely relished it I'm a very personable um, person I do love being around people so it, it wasn't a problem for me um, but I think don't underestimate the power of other people talking about your businesses um, as well to be perfectly honest because people do recommend and that's another great thing you know if you're looking for a gift um, for anybody in your family anyone in your you know your friendship circle someone in Empower will have just that product or they will know someone who has so for me um, you know, a lot of my early business um, I won um, by being a member of Empower. So it's been really um, incredibly important to me. So I would say to anyone, just go and do it. <laughs> go and join Empower. Thank you, Jackie. That's really great feedback. And, and we love having you as a member as well. <laughs> oh, that's really kind of you. Thanks, Kerry. I'm, I'm itching to get going again, I must admit. <laughs> Right. Thank you very much. And that's been great chatting to you today. I'll see you soon. It's a great pleasure. Thanks, Kerry.